I just got back from shopping, so let's do a Sephora haul. This small bag has $100 worth of stuff in it. So the first thing that I got was this Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream. Honestly, I picked this one out because it's pink and pink is my favorite color. I have been seeing the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray all over TikTok, so I wanted to try it out and see what the hype is about. I got it in this cute little mini size. I figured I could use a good setting spray since I'm always going out like I want my makeup to last, especially in this Miami humidity. And the last thing that I got was this Laneige Sleep Lip Sleeping Mask. I got this one. This one is in the Sweet Candy scent. It smells really good. And I've also seen this product all over TikTok. So clearly I'm easily influenced. This smells so good. It literally smells like candy. And it comes with a little mini applicator. Love you besties. It's my 19th birthday and we have a really good birthday all this year. In no way, shape, or form am I trying to brag. I just love watching these videos. So I thought I'd make one for you guys. And we got a pretty good haul this year. We'll start off with Sephora. I got two gift cards. Ordinary Glycolic Acid, Whey Detox Shampoo, The Whey Leave-In Conditioner, and lastly The Whey Hair Oil. I feel like we should do the Little Baby Dior bag next. How gorgeous is this wrapping job? I got the Dior Attic Lip Glow Oil, got it in the shade pink. I feel like we're all wondering what's in this bag right over here. So, so my boyfriend actually got me a couple presents this year. So first up, no words. Actually speechless. Great. They are amazing. I'm speechless and I love them so much. How gorgeous are these shoes? My boyfriend also got me a couple things from Aloe. This cute black underwire tank top. This purpley gray sports bra. He also got me two lip products from Sephora. The Dior Addict Lip Maximizer. Gorgeous. The Summer Fridays Always Sold Out Lip Butter Balm. I'm so excited to try this. My boyfriend also got me this little jelly cat. Not too little, she's actually pretty big. My boyfriend are obsessed with jelly cats. I have four of them already and this is our fifth, so I'm so excited. Lastly, he got me this lip balm and hand cream little kit from L'Occitane, L'Occitane, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I've been dying to try this hand cream because I see it all over TikTok. This present is from my parents. They got me a stunning necklace. They got me this gorgeous diamond necklace. I'm actually obsessed, it's from Michael Hill and it's beautiful. Got a Simply Modern tumbler. I got it in black. I also got this massive chunky knit white blanket and I'm obsessed, it's the softest thing in the entire world. I hope you guys enjoy my birthday haul, but stay tuned for my get ready with me today because we are going to the bars to celebrate because I'm legal. Sephora for literally one item and came out with two bags worth, so let's do a haul. They had so many good new things, I just could not help myself. So first thing, if I see one more person rave about this, the one size pink setting powder, everyone makes it seem like this is the best under eye setting powder. It's like actually pink. It's supposed to be really brightening, so I'm gonna try it out for myself. I have high hopes. Also how to get this Kosas Dream Beam, another product that I have seen everyone talk about and hype up. Really, I just fall for all the viral products, but it's a sunscreen. Very cute packaging, supposed to be glowy. I'm kind of a sunscreen snob, so I'll be the judge of this. We'll see. Okay, Fenty Summer Collection sucked me in like shapewear. I have not seen this yet. And like, look at this packaging. How beautiful is that? So this is their Poutsicle little lip stain and the shade is Fuchsia, Fuchsia something. Fuchsia Wife. It's like a really bright pinky purple. Also got suckered into one of these new Dior blushes. Now I have always said, I don't think that pink Dior blush is really worth the hype. I really don't, but they came out with new shades and I believe there's supposed to be a new formula. So this one is cherry and that actually looks really pretty but we'll see if this one is actually worth the hype because these are not cheap so they better be good okay what i actually went there for which is a backup of my fenty beauty eavesdrop this one i got it in like a more summery sort of shade because the other shade i have this in is a little bit too light for the summer okay also as if i need any more blushes these makeup by mario blushes have just taken over me I got the pink one initially loved it so i got two more shades this one is barely blushing very much neutral vibes which i like sometimes and then for a more fun sort of pop i got this one in just peachy how pretty is that for summer perfect and last but not least fenty beauty gloss bomb heat in the shade hot cherry love a good little cherry gloss moment and that's everything bye hey guys come shopping with us at sephora at the short hills mall i saw this comment and i was like say less we do not need to be convinced to go to sephora so here we are we are here with my cousin's daughter also who has never been in sephora so this is her first time which is very exciting val checked out the skin fix and looked at the moisturizers of course sol de janeiro we were looking at the different scents that they had in stock glow recipe they had tons in stock and so did ordinary glow recipe had the cutest little new barbie set then they checked out some of the other skincare lines 
Then we looked at Tula. And Val was trying the Milk Makeup Blush Sticks. A lot of Glossier balms in stock. Definitely flavors that they don't have. Of course, we had to look at Rare Beauty. I think that they were looking at the blushes and highlighters. This is the only Dyson Airstrade I've ever seen in stock. And there's one left. Of course, my favorite section, the minis. I think this is a Summer Fridays mascara. I'm not 100% sure. They had this Fenty mask. I don't know what this was, but this was intriguing. This Caudalie spray I had to have. I, I was actually not sure which one I was going to get. Touchland hand sanitizers. They've never seen this blue one. I love the Necessaire body lotion, and this was a mini. I have no idea what this was, but this was wild. And that was it. Stay tuned for the haul. Bye. $500 Sephora haul. Let's open it. The got Laneige moisturizer and toner. I have heard my friend is using this. It's very hydrating. So we're going to try it. This is how it looks. This is great for dry skin, by the way. Product glow recipe. My friend also uses this one. Very sleek, very cute. This is the toner. We have watermelon glow, niacinamide dewdrops. Heard so much about the Scale Plus Green Tea Spinach Vitamin Cleanser from you to the people. It's clean. It um, doesn't have a lot of chemicals. You get this in very clean glass bottle, which is very good for reusability. It comes with a pump, so you can replace the top bottom and have this as a foamer. My biggest spend on Sephora is these two boxes, which I'm going to show you. My biggest purchase is this, these Oribe Gold Lust Conditioner and Shampoo. It's very expensive, I know. But I have used the smaller portion of this and I finished it. My hair never have, it, it was never that smooth. So I've got myself a 33.8 which is one liter of shampoo it was for 138 or 150 dollars and then conditioner was for uh so the shampoo was for 150 around the conditioner was for 180 and then the next once you're done with this they have the refillable um shampoo so i have yet another massive support haul okay this is like full so let's get into it okay starting off we have this way better together set i love way so much and this is such a good deal this came with the detox shampoo and the leave-in conditioner and i already have a leave-in conditioner but now i have two next i got the big size from my friend actually of the daisy love mark jacobs this is just in the absolute prettiest packaging ever like oh look at it okay keeping up with perfumes i wasn't sure if i wanted to get the big one of this it's the good girl um perfume um this is like the mini it was like 19 dollars um and it's in this little high heel shape it's so cute and this actually just smells heavenly and it's so cute next to match the perfume i got the daisy love mark jacobs lotion and then i got this holiday tart set in this set there are four mascaras okay i should take it back there's one eyeliner which is the double take eyeliner we have the tubing mascara a big ego mascara and then this four in one lights camera action this had a 101 value and it was only 44 dollars and next is my first refill of this gisu hair perfume i love this stuff so much oh it's so pretty and it smells heavenly like i use this and my hair smells so good for like days on end and that's all follow from our hauls hi i'm like oh my gosh i have a ginormous haul okay so i got three things from ulta so i'm just gonna show you that first so i got some clear mighty patch because these are so good they like clear my pimples and they're like really good and then i got the bubble moisturizer because i ran out of the slam dunk one and i like it better than the gel moisturizer from bubble and then I got the e.l.f. brush, which is for powder. Okay, so that's it for Ulta. Now, Sephora. Okay, so some stuff is for me, some stuff is for my mom. Okay, so um, my birthday is really soon. It's this week. So 
I got the Glow Recipe um, birthday gift because they didn't have the Dior one. It comes with a tiny little toner and a dew drops. Okay, then I got the um, Glow Recipe toner in the big size because the mini one, like, I kept using it a lot, so I just wanted the big one. I also ran out of the mini one. Next, I got a Glossier lip balm in the flavor or shade Mango. And it's so pretty, I love the packaging and it feels really good on my lips. Okay, next I got the full-size Ilia Mascara because if you guys follow me, then you know that I am obsessed with the Ilia Mascara. So I finally got the big one because I only have the mini one. And this is literally my holy grail. Then I got the Rare Beauty Lip Oil um, in the shade Honesty, and I promise it's not that brown. It's really pretty. I tried it on in store, and it's so pretty. Like, look at that. Love it. Next, I got the Say Foundation Brush, the big brush, and I... Like, I have been needing a good foundation brush, so I finally got the same one because I heard a lot about it, and it looks really good, so. Next, I have been waiting for this, the Say Sun Glow Drops. This was the last one, and I wanted the mini one because I heard it lasts a really long time. So, yeah, I'm so happy about this. Okay, now on to the next bag. By the way, I paid for all of this with my own money, so yeah, I'm also very grateful because my mom took me there. Okay, now this stuff is like mostly for my mom, but also for me. So I have um, two Rare Beauty blushes. They're both in the shade Grace. One of them I got for my mom and then one of them for me. And then I got this brush, 45, it's for concealer. And then I got this brush in the sh in the number 57 for also concealer. I don't really know. They're from my mom. And then I got a blush brush. It's huge. And that's also for my mom. And then I got, well, she got the number 13, Taylor Swift's number, um, for eyeshadow. And then I have these three eyeshadows like sticks i got two from my beauty one of them for me one of them for my mom um the sh in the shade well-being they're both really pretty and then i got this laura mercier well my mom did um in the shade i think it's like vanilla or something yeah then i just went to michael's to get more string because i love making string bracelets so i just got all these colors these are a really good deal. Each of them is 62 cents, like each color, so. There's more in the bag, but like, yeah. That's it for my Sephora and Ulta and Michaels haul. Bye, thank you for watching. Sorry the video is like really long. Bye. Let's do the biggest shopping haul ever. Okay, if this is seriously not the biggest shopping haul you have ever seen, that I generally do not know what it is. I'm so excited to show you guys everything I got, and this is all of my back to school stuff. Okay, you guys, I'm seriously so excited to show you guys everything I got, and this is everything we're working with. <laughs> also, some of the brands include Golden Goose, Aloe, Aritzia, Lululemon, like the list goes on. Let's start off with my personal favorite, Aritzia. Also, you guys, these bags are literally ginormous. First, for Aritzia, I got a line jacket and jupe, a pair of shorts, and a pair of jeans. This is what the Align jacket looks like. It's so cute and it's black. This is the shorts, you guys. These are seriously so cozy. And then these are the jeans. They kind of give me like that Hailey Bieber off the look vibe. I'm seriously obsessed with these. Then from bag number two, I got these super cute pair of gray charcoal slack pants. I picked up this super cute furry vest with a hood. Perfect for winter. And the last thing in this bag is this super cute knit sweater and this gray knit top. You guys, these are seriously the essentials that we all need for winter. Then from Urban Out, 
Poppers, I picked up this super cute pink tiger print top, and then I picked up some of these mini razors to darn play my face. These are seriously the best brand. They're called Nish, and they're just so good. And from a brand called Mui Gold, I picked up this super cute green striped cashmere sweater. And starting off strong from Zara, I picked up this super cute gray knit sweater with a v-neck. This just screams Aspen Rich Housewife. Then I picked up this super cute gray top from Zara. Okay, you guys, this is seriously the best link to wear to school. It's still cute, but you won't be getting dress coded. Next, from Lululemon, I got one ginormous bag and one, like, regular bag. First, in the regular size bag, I picked up two pairs of socks. These are seriously the best, and they have grippies on the back so they won't fall off your feet. From the ginormous bag, I picked up this super cute pair of Lululemon shorts. I wear size zero on these because they went a little bit bigger. The last thing in that giant Lululemon bag, I picked up this super cute backpack. I had one of these last year, so I just got a new one. Starting the year off fresh. Then from literally the best store in the entire world, from Aloe, I picked up this super cutie pair of shorts. They are seriously the cutiest pair of shorts I've ever worn. And then I picked up this super cutie pair of gray leggings. I am so obsessed. They kind of give me like horse rider vibes, like rich Beverly Hills. I'm obsessed. Also, they can go with any type of top. A tank, a shirt, anything. From this super cutie brand called Slate, I picked up this super cutie book that I'm just going to use as a coffee table. I'll probably never read it. But seriously, guys, how could I say no to this absolutely gorgeous green color? It is the cutiest thing on earth. And from Sephora, I got one ginormous bag, one, like, big bag, one regular bag, and then one tiny bag. But seriously, guys, can we just get a minute for how big these bags are? Like, they're literally the size of my head. This is the tiny bag. I picked up another repurchase. It's the Dr. Dennis Gross Acne. Then I picked up another repurchase. It is the Drunk Elephant Deep Bronzy Drops. The Glotion ones are really good for a dupe, but they broke me out, so I stopped using them. With all that's in the tiny bag, let's now move on to the regular size bag. In the regular size bag, I picked up this Laneige Water Sleeping Mask. I seriously love this stuff. I don't support what Laneige does, but this seriously helps my skin so much. And from Kara Stasi, I picked up this Bond Repair. And then from Day, I picked up this Hair Detangle. I'll let you know if it's good. I love Day, so hopefully it works. Also, this smells like absolute heaven. The last thing that's in this regular bag, I picked up the Caudalie Serum. This is my third time me purchasing the serum. I don't talk about it a lot, but it's seriously the best serum. Then starting off strong, I picked up the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream. This stuff is seriously so good and it smells just like the Baccarat. This is seriously not that moisturizing, but the scent makes up for it. Also from Sol de Janeiro, I picked up this super cute lotion. From Caudalie, I picked up this grape water spray to keep in my backpack. Then from day, I picked up this mask, which helps hold your hair in a slick back. I've never used it, but hopefully it's good. Ooh, it looks nice. Okay, let's do first impressions. Ooh, it smells so good. Also from day, I picked up another repurchase. I seriously love this day hair oil, and it works so good. And the last thing from this bag is another repurchase. It is the regular size of the Sol de Janeiro in 86. This is seriously so good. I love the 86 scent, and it is the best scent. Now, let's move on to the ginormous bag. What I picked up is the High Shine by Anika. Then I picked up the Coldly Hair and Cream. I've never had this before, but guys, when I tried this out in the store, it smelled like Paris. Okay, and while I've never been to Paris before, this is how I imagine Paris smells like. Let me know if you're from Paris. Then I picked up the mini size of the Laneige Cream Skin Toner, and the last thing that's in this ginormous bag is an eyebrow pencil by Benefit in the shade 4.5. And from Apple, I picked up a brand new phone, an Apple Watch, a case, and a wristband. This is the band I picked out for my Apple Watch. This is the case I picked out for my brand new phone. This is the phone I picked up. I picked up the 14 Pro, and the last thing I got is this charger. But seriously, you guys, there is nothing better than a brand new phone. It just feels so clean and so crisp. Then from Amazon, I picked up all these packages. I'm pretty sure I'm paying Jeff Bezos bills. First thing from Amazon, I picked up this hair tool kit. It comes with the brush, the comb, and the slick back. Then from Slate and Stone, I picked up the bergamot scent of the body cream. This stuff seriously smells like absolute heaven. Next from Amazon, I picked up these powder puffs. Also, Alex Earls like to know it. Then I picked up this bedhead wax stick, which is going to help with slick back. And the last thing from Amazon that I picked up is a super cute LED mirror. Okay, let's do first impressions of the mirror. We're looking good. Oop. Uh-oh. Okay, let's turn it on. This is seriously the best. I feel like Kim Kardashian. And the very last thing from Amazon is this super cute black puffer vest. Like, look at how cutie. Moving on to the famous Ulta Beauty. The first thing I got is Olaplex number six. 
Then I picked up the Redken heat spray because my sister says I burn my hair. Then I picked up a repurchase alert. It is the Pathology Detangle Spray. Then I picked up two packs of sticky boobs. I love these and I'm obsessed with them. Next, I picked up a Touchland hand sanitizer. No germs will be touching me. And this is in the scent Vanilla Blossom. Then I picked up this scent in Vanilla Musk. The Cosa Rest Snail Mousin. Another repurchase. This is the Pure Grace Perfume. This smells like a beach. That is the only way to describe it. And the last thing from Ulta Beauty is this Born a Dreamer perfume. Okay, but let's test out the hand sanitizer. Ooh, that smells so good. Then from Neil, I have two ginormous bags. The first thing I picked up is this super cutie workout tank. I love the blue pattern. Then I picked up this super cutie pair of leggings to go along with it. And look at these stripes at the bottom. And the last thing from Nell I picked up is this super cute red checkered top. Next from Ugg, I have a super exciting package. Okay, so what I picked up is a super cute pair of mini platform Uggs in the beige color. I'm seriously obsessed. Then from the South Boutique, I picked up the cutest clothes ever. First thing I picked up is a super cute red set. It comes with the super cutie shorts and the super cutie cuff top. And the last thing from the South Boutique I picked up is the gold hinge zip top. I've seen all the Rush girls wear this, so obviously I needed it. Then from Brandy Melville, I picked up a couple of pieces. First thing I picked up is this pajama set. That's the top, and this is what the shorts look like. And the last thing from Brandy Melville I picked up is this crochet top that you can put on top of a tank. Okay, and this was what it looks like on. Like, look at how cute this is. It just screams fashion in New York. I'm obsessed. Next one brand called Skin Better. I picked up a couple of products. The first thing I picked up is the Notorious $75 sunscreen. Then the last thing I picked up from Skin Better is their Oxygen Infusion Wash. You guys, this seriously scrubs your face to a different level. It has slow-releasing AHAs and BHAs that really deep cleanse your face, but without stripping it. And moving on to Skims, I picked up this super cute orange body style that you all saw me wear. Then from Skims, I picked up the cutest top, like... Look at that. And that is all from Skims. From Revolve, I picked up a couple of pieces. The first top I picked up is this super cute green and gray flower. Then I picked up this super cute knit kind of see-through top with all of these blue palm trees on it. And the last thing I picked up from Revolve is the iconic London drop. I have not been able to find these in Sephora, so I bought them off of Revolve. And that is all from Revolve. Then from Every Jewels, I picked up two earring cuffs, two rings, four necklaces, and one bracelet. First for the necklaces, I picked up this necklace, which is supposed to have an angel number on it. It says 77. Then I picked up this white and gold pearl necklace. And the last necklace I picked up is this cross necklace. Then for the rings, I picked up this gold bracelet and this gold bracelet. And for the bracelet, I picked up this super cutie gold bracelet. And lastly, for the earring cuffs, I picked up a butterfly and a silver. And the very last package is from Miss Savannah Boda. If you don't know who she is, she's a Dallas esthetician that also sells skincare. She's seriously the cutest, but I picked up all of these travel size products as Skin Better products. The first product I picked up is the Skin Better Moisturizer, the Skin Better Gel Cleanser, the Skin Better Hyperpigmentation Corrector, and the Skin Better Vitamin C. Vitamin C was seriously $98. Like, it better fix my skin. This is what it looks like, and it's seriously the cutest packaging ever. And that is everything from the biggest shopping haul ever. Bye. I know I have a problem, but hear me out. I had 20% off and this is the only time I buy from Sephora. So I try to buy everything on my wish list. So let's do a haul. The main reason why I went back is because of this holiday lip kit. It values for $127 and it was $45 and then 20% on top of that. Like this is a freaking steal. And there's three full sizes, like come on. When I was there, I was like, you know, this is a perfect time to go Christmas shopping. So I picked up another one and I was like, you know, while I'm here, let's pick up a couple more items on my wish list. So I got the Patrick Ta Cream Contour and Bronzer in the shade She Sculpted for medium skin tones. And this shade was out of stock when I first visited, but I had to get her since she was in stock. And then I really wanted the brush for it, but they've been out of stock forever. So I just settled for the small one. 
and every girly on TikTok has been raving about this lip gloss so I had to try it out for myself this is the Tower 28 lip jelly in the shade Cashew and while I was checking out I saw this gift set this is the Tower 28 lip duo in cookie butter and you know how I said I wanted the house labs concealer well they didn't have my shade online as well I settled for a shade for my under eyes and I've been wanting to try the Huda Beauty setting powder so I got her in the shade banana bread cherry blossom is what I really wanted but they're out of stock everywhere and last item while I was checking out I got a hand sanitizer from Touchland in Berry Bliss my favorite hand sanitizers ever if you've been on TikTok in the last week, you know the Sephora sale is currently going on, so here's a haul of everything I got. They gave me one of the giant bags, so that's how you know it's going to be a good haul. Almost everything I got is makeup, but I did pick up one hair product. This is the Crown Up Air Finishing Gel. I've heard such good things about this for like slick back, so I had to give it a try. My birthday is coming up in November, so this was the birthday gift I chose. It's just the Patrick Ta one. It comes with a brow laminator and a lip gloss. Also from Patrick Ta, I grabbed this Major Dimension 3 Matte Eyeshadow Palette. And I also grabbed a few face products. I grabbed two of the little blush duos in She's a Doll and She's That Girl. And the, what is this? The Major Sculpt in She's Bronzed. Next, I grabbed this Say Blush Trio. I love these colors. And I actually have this one on right now. And the formula is really pretty. I grabbed two new highlighters. This is the Benefit Tickle Highlighter. And it's this gorgeous, like, pinky shade. And then I grabbed the Anastasia sun idol one it's brand new and people are saying it's very similar to the amorizi one i grabbed a bunch of face products starting with the one size ultimate setting powder in ultra pink i grabbed the ysl bare look skin tint i tried this the other day and the finish was beautiful for concealers i grabbed the hourglass hourglass vanish concealer and then the ysl positive light under eye brightener and then I also got the new Kosas Glow IV in the shade Boost. I had to get the new Summer Fridays lip balm in the mint scent. And then I also got this Afterglow Liquid Blush from NARS in the shade Brazen. I have like the lilac one and it's so pretty on. I got this Refi Brow Tint. I do have the brow sculpt and I love it. So I wanted to get the one with some tint. I got the Urban Decay Moon Dust Sparkly Eyeshadow. I have a few of these, but I love this color. It's in Cosmic Craze, and it's a little bit more of like a pinky color. And then I just got this Milk Makeup Little Bronzing Stick. And then I just got a new Beauty Blender to replace my old one. We just came from Sephora. So today's the last day of the sale. I know what you're thinking. Girl, they did not have no bigger bag. Here's my haul. Fenty Butter Drop. You guys already know this. If you don't have this in your cart, go ahead and add it right now because today's the last day. This is the Danessa Myrick Dynamic Prom Duo. I had to get this. So I had to get the Netty Vanilla Fragrance as a gift. One of my homegirls been talking about this vanilla fragrance, so I decided to get it. I really wanted to try the Fresh Pink Lip Duo by Charlotte Tilbury, so I got that. Girl, you know I had to. Y'all know I love Donna Born and Woman, so I had to re-up on this one. The Fenty Butter Gloss. This is the Sephora Vitamin E Serum. I got the Sephora Collection Retractable Eyeliner, and this is in the shade 26. So I got the Inculus Lip Plumping Balm. Now, I really want to try this because it's a lip plumper. I got the One Size Setting Spray. Beyonce was singing in the rain, and her makeup did not move. They said that she was wearing this setting spray, so I had to grab it. I had to get the one size secure the sweat. I had to re up on my Lancome foundation. This is literally in my top three foundations. I love this foundation. I've been wearing it for years. Kyra Omanique was talking about this lip plumper, so I had to try it. My Dr. Dennis Group. I got the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I re upped on my Micro Smooth Powder, and then I got the Clean Reserve Skin Travel Spray. Now, this is my first Clean Reserve fragrance, so I decided to go with Travel Spray just in case I don't like it. And then I got Bubble Bath by Replica. All the girls been talking about Bubble Bath, and I finally decided to get the Travel Spray. So that was my Sephora haul. Be sure to go ahead and shop the set. Today's the last day. If you want any links to these products, I'll have them in my Instagram stories. Sephora package just came in. I'm going to show you guys what I got from the sale. I think I went a little bit overboard. First up, I got the jumbo size of the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless, whatever, the setting spray, okay? We all know it. Look how huge this is. Next, we got the Drunk Elephant Goldie Drops. This was kind of unnecessary, but like, I just love the glow that it gives some people. Oh my god. I feel like especially because I'm pale now, this will be perfect instead of the bronzy drops. I am so excited for this one. This is the Refi Brow Sculpt. This one has the glue and then it has like the little brush. This is the... Oh! Are you kidding? It's literally 
the size smaller than my pinky finger. This is the Rare Beauty Mini Blush in the shade Hope. Next, this is the Fenty Skin Blemish Defeater. It's basically something where you can put over open acne and then put makeup over it and then it literally peels off. It's like so cool. I want to try it. You guys know how much I'm obsessed with Sol de Janeiro 62. Had to get the leave-in conditioner got the sephora favorites holiday lip kit i'm gonna do a separate haul on what's inside this but i'm so excited probably the item i was most excited for this is the patrick ta contour thing i just needed to get my hands on it asap because i've been seeing it everywhere <gasps> the packaging okay the packaging is everything uh let's look inside <gasps> you're lying so it comes with the cream and the powder and this is in the shade she sculpted obviously i had to get the brush with it this is called the dual ended sculpting brush i love how it has like those protector things on it <gasps> literally the softest thing ever then this is the tower 28 daily barrier recovery cream so excited for this you guys know how much i love the sos spray from tower 28 right so i just i just had to do it this is literally massive and i had to re-up on my merit instant skin serum i already had this already tried it already love it and i had to get another one this is also another re-up of mine the kosas plump and juicy spray so excited for this this is the tower 28 swipe concealer hopefully this shade matches because i shade matched online i love way and all of their hair products i had to get this comes with a full size of the detox shampoo and a full size of the leave-in conditioner two of my favorite products from the brand this was an impulse purchase this is the Peter Thomas Roth Gift of Bright Eye Set. This is basically all of the under eye patches. That was so unnecessary. And then I got this Sephora Shadow Crayon, I think. It's literally so pretty. This is in the shade Rose Gold. I'm so excited to use all these products. Bye. I got a massive Sephora. We're gonna talk about the price of everything because it's so relevant. Okay, so the first thing I got was the Glareski Watermelon Dew Drops. Not a Watermelon Dew Drops fan, but this was like on sale because they have like this huge sale. This is what they look like. It's Glow Recipe, guys. Um, it's just a new packaging they have. Um, that's why it like looks like watermelon, and that's why it says I B C C C C C N D C. Glow Recipe. Then I got the Bubble Slam Dunk Moisturizer. Now, I did not know that Sephora sold bubble, but apparently they do. Take the white thing off because I'm pretty sure that's what you're supposed to do. I got the Glow Recipe Toner, which I'm going to call Ordinary Out because this serum made my whole entire forehead burn. My skin is burned off because of the serum. This is not a good serum. So, we all have different skin types, like different like combination oily now i'm not no dermatologist but do not use this because it literally made my skin burn like mainly on my forehead not really on my cheeks next up i got the dior lip oil 40 dollar lip oil is insane so hopefully it's bro it's like stuck in the packaging let's try it it smells like mint i think i'm gonna return it okay so obviously this stuff wasn't from Sephora except this, but in all seriousness, I did actually order something from Sephora. I got the Glow Recipe with Skin Dreams Kit. Only thing I use, like after I cleanse my face, I put this on, and then in the morning I use this. And one of my favorite TikTokers, um, her name's Sophia. Um, Y'all should go follow her. Videos are like really good, and she does some more followers. This is what the drops look like. A little pump serum looks like it's like a glass bottle i'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a strawberry seed shape and this is what the pump looks like so yeah i'll be posting a get ready with me for basketball tryouts tomorrow hi guys i have a sephora haul i don't have a sephora where i live so i went all out when i was in london starting off with this sol de janeiro 71 it's literally so underrated like it literally smells like a big good Oh my, we need to spray it on. Oh, it smells so good. It literally smells like the Pink Sugar Summer Fridays Lip Balm. Then I got another shade of the Summer Fridays Lip Balm, but this time in Vanilla Beige. Like, these are literally my Holy Grail lip balms. And this one smells like a really nice vanilla. Then I got quite a bit of Fenty Beauty, starting off with the Diamond Balm. It's always sold out online, so when I saw it in the store, I knew I had to get it. So, the packaging is literally stunning. It has glitters on it. And then, I'm going to swatch it for you guys.
Oh my, look at that. I also got the famous Madison Beer blush she used in the Folk Beauty Secrets video. It's actually a highlighter, but it's actually stunning. I'm going to use it as a glowy blush, and it's in the shade Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. And then I had to get one of their glosses, so I got it in the shade Fussy. It's a classic and a gorgeous pink. Let's apply some. I also got a mini of the Rare Beauty Mascara to try out. It's a small one. And this is what the wand looks like. I always wanted to try out a pink powder. So I got the mini size of the Huda Beauty one. And I already have the big one in the shade Cupcake. So I know I love this formula. I also got the Kosas The Wet Undressed set. It comes with the wet stick and the lip oil. And... I swatched the lip oil and the lip balm in the store and I actually really liked it. It's really good value. This is what the lip balm looks like. Or like tinted lipstick. Um, I don't know, sheer lipstick. I don't know. And this is what the mini lip oil looks like. It's so freaking cute. And the shade looks really pretty. And the last thing that I got is this Lancome concealer. It's in the shade 3. I've heard very good things about it, like it's very full coverage and stuff like that. But I tried it on already and I have it on today. And it's so nice, it's not drying at all, it's quite hydrating. It leaves like a little bit of a satin finish. It's really nice. This is all the makeup I picked up from Sephora. I hope you guys liked it. Bye! Can't stop, won't stop. Someone please just come control me. Three minutes is probably not going to be enough. And it doesn't even include my online orders. All right, I saw one video, only one video, and that's all it took for me to almost buy every single makeup by Mario brush. I have so many brushes, and I don't really need this, but I don't know. Their makeup application just looks so amazing. I went ahead and just felt heavily influenced by TikTok. I got the F2 brush, and I also got the F1. And I also ordered, like, the foundation um, brush, but that was one of my online orders. These do feel very, very luxe. Next up, I got a Voluspa um, candle. This one's a Barbados and grapefruit one. It smells absolutely amazing. These actually last me a while, so I'm actually considering buying these. Next, I got the Sol de Janeiro Real Radiance. This one smells so good. I don't really like most of their scents because they smell super sweet, but this one smells very fresh, and I love that. I also got the Makeup by Mario Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Glow whatever. Um, I really liked it. Uh, it looks great, but I will say I saw on TikTok that these are kind of tiny for the price and I do agree with that. So I'm not sure if I'm going to return it. Next up, I got the Sowasu, so 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 I don't know, Dental Cleansing Oil. Um, I've already been using it and I am a huge fan. Crown Affair has been all over my For You page lately and everybody has been recommending it. And since I love using um, leave-in so much, I got their leave-in and honestly, it's like 10 out of 10 for the packaging. I will update you guys on this. I got this beauty blender. Um power pocket puff i see everybody on here use it and i wanted one too i got this sephora like little eye massager thing and like i just thought it looked cool it was only 10 bucks you know whatever had to have it you guys know i love tower 28 so when i saw like this like two full-size duo i had to have this um it brings a full-size balm and um lipstick and these are just like my absolute favorite both of them so you know it's a no-brainer okay a few more bear with me so I got the Westman Atelier Vital Skincare Complexion Drops. I'm probably going to be returning this because I did like the finish and I did like how like it looked on. But it just smells so, so strong. And I know it's probably skincare, which is like good, but I just, I cannot handle the smell. Rare Beauty Blush in the shade Worth because, you know, we just had to expand our Rare Beauty collection. Summer Friday's Sheer Skin Tint um, in the shade Light. I also see this all over my For You page and people rave about it, so I had to have it. I got this house lab highlighter because I saw it on TikTok. Um, it's a little exotic, but I'm gonna try it as a blush topper. I also got two more Westman Atelier blushes to add to my collection. I am so hooked on these. I love them so much. I know they look the same, but they're not. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls, always over blush. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls are always in a rush. 
not one, not two, but three Sephora packages. So let's do a haul of what I bought at the Sephora savings event. Let's start off with the big one first. Okay, starting off, I got the duo pack of the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. This is my favorite setting spray ever. Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in Caramel Apple. I love collecting all the different flavors of these. This is a pair of lashes from Ardell X Sephora, and it comes with the lash glue. I'm really looking forward to these. This is the In Beauty Glaze for Days lip set, and these are such good lip oils if you haven't tried them out yet. I got this pack of the Wow Dream Coats. It comes with a full size and a mini. In Chris Appleton We Trust. I'm so excited for this too. This is the Patrick Ta Foundation. This was pricey, but it looks gorgeous on everyone's skin that I see on TikTok. I got two of these Summer Fridays Pink Sugar Lip Balms. One for me, one for my sister. If you haven't tried these, try them. They smell so good. This is for my sister. This is the Summer Fridays Jet Leg Mask. I got the Laneige Lip Balm in the scent Peppermint. Literally smells so fresh and so yummy. I got the Sephora Collection Crayon. This is in like a silver shade. And then my sister got me to pick her this up. This is the Way Better Together shampoo and leave-in conditioner set. First box empty. Number two. I completely forgot I got this. This is a Sephora Collection glitter gel liner in like a gold shade. Another one of those crayons but in rose gold from the Sephora Collection. I got a full size of the Glow Recipe toner. I have a mini of this and I have really been loving it so I was like might as well splurge on the big one. This I got as a gift for my friend's birthday coming up. It comes with like the five mini mascaras and then you get a voucher for a full size one from Sephora Favorites. And then I got a mini of the Kika pair. I don't know how to say it. This is the Dr. Jar like color correcting treatment. It's definitely a little small for $30, but I wanted to try it and see if it's good at all. Box number two empty. Now the items in here, I bought these like two days before the sale went on because they were sold out online and I didn't want to risk not getting them. So this is the Say Mini Dew Blush Trio. I really wanted to try this new shade here. I love these brushes. They're so good. And then lastly, I got the Patrick Ta Headliner Lip Gloss. This was a limited edition shade, so I didn't want to not get it because I didn't know if they were going to put it back in stock or not. So I'm glad I got it before the sale, even if I didn't get a discount. And just like that, the bag is empty. Our haul is over. I feel like I got way more stuff than I actually did, but it's just because it's so pricey that I'm like, where did all my money go? But it's fine. I love Sephora. I love splurging on myself. Treat yourself. Go get something from the sale before it's over. Hi. I went shopping. Okay, so before we dive in, here is the story. Typically, I am much, much tanner than this, okay? I used to have a natural tan when I was a young girl, right? Because I was always in the sun, soaking up that vitamin D. As I've gotten older, I do sunless tanning and spray tanning, right? Well, now, long story short, I'm in California. I'm kind of stuck here. Not really. I was only planning on being here for like four or five days, but my trip got extended, and now I've been here for like almost two weeks at this point, and I have not spray tan, sunless tan, none of the things. So I am fair and pale as shit, like look at that. The difference in shade on my underarm, it's weird. So basically I did not have any makeup that matched me whatsoever. So I had to go to Sephora and get all new makeup that would match my skin tone. So I figured we'd do a haul together. So I just got my nails done and I'm obsessed with the color. Okay, so the Sephora store that's next to where I'm staying is a really small store. There's my receipt. Um, so I had to make do with what they had there, right? Like typically my favorite foundation right now is the Tom Ford Stick Foundation. That's not sold out of Sephora or Ulta, so I had to kind of make do with what they had in stock, all right? So first thing, I got the House Labs Foundation. I actually think this might be my first time using it. I used it today and I mixed it with the Charlotte Tilbury. Listen here, okay? I, I, I know people are obsessed, they're obsessed. I am not obsessed with this foundation, but I did actually like it today. I don't know. I don't make sense in my own head sometimes, so I'm sure you guys can't make sense of me. But I've tried this before and I've never liked it, but today, mixing it with this, it did take a little work, but it was good. Also, can I just say, Gaga, Miss Gaga, I really appreciate you because her shade range for fair skin is so on point. It is so on point. And if you guys don't think that I'm fair, let me just hold up the arms again. I'm only like the third shade in her shade range. Like I'm really, really fair right now. And the reason why is because I decided years ago to stop going in the sun. And if I do, I wear a very, very high SPF slash sunblock because I don't want any more skin damage. So I am just fair. 
Okay, I got two cream bronzers because I've been super into cream bronzers recently. I got the Charlotte Tilbury right here. I use the shade number two typically, but now I'm shade number one. It's funny because a couple months ago I talked shit about the shade because I was like, it's so gray. But now that I'm Casper, it looks great. I still don't know how to say the name of this brand. I can't believe myself. Say, I think. Say, Sai. I'm not sure. Again, obsessed. I actually mixed these two together on my face today. Like, I think that these two right here are like the best formulas in the industry for cream bronzers and the shades together were i mean they're giving the house labs bronzer this is shade four i did not know that house labs is all clean i had no clue which is like so exciting i feel like so many amazing brands have been completely clean recently and they have pigment which you could not find in the past right so this is exciting it's kind of making me want to be a clean girly uh, uh. I'm not committing to that. Don't hold me to that. I got the Dior concealer. This is one of my favorite concealers right now, along with Hourglass. I got it in two different shades because I didn't know which shade I would be. I am zero. That's my shade. I also got the Hourglass concealers because, again, I just, ooh, I love them. I got them in shade Cotton and Cream. These are my two favorite concealers right now tried the house labs i liked it but i still was not obsessed with it like i am with these two these are my favorite I actually couldn't believe that this was in stock this is the rosy glow 001 pink dior blush right there nice blue undertone pink blush always looks great on pale ass skin oh i haven't tried this yet this is the glow sculpt multi-use cream highlighter blush this looks so pretty but i haven't actually used it should I put it on my cheeks right now? <gasps> you want to do it? Okay, hold on. I'm scared. What if I hate it? I have plans tonight. Okay, I'm just going to do it. Oh, shit. Okay. I mean, this is like really pigmented and really beautiful. That is, that's really pretty. This is the Perfection Complexion Stick? Perfecting Complexion Stick. Wow, they really, they missed it with that one. It could have been Perfection Collection Stick. Perfection Complexion? The Perfection Complexion Collection. <laughs> That is yellow as shit. Okay, see, this is why you don't make like quick last minute decisions when you're running for the register. My friend was already at the register and I like panicked and bought these. I've seen good things about these and I'm pretty sure this brand is clean. Okay, what was I doing? What was I doing? This is not gonna match me, look at that. Okay, it was definitely a panic move, okay? I'm gonna just put these back in the box and exchange those for my color. I also got the House Labs concealer brush because I hadn't seen this yet and I think it looks like such a nice concealer brush. So I'm very interested and her so picked her up and last but not least mm, got this Psy glowy super gel dewy illuminating fluid i've heard that this is like very similar to the drunk elephant drops and i have not tried and i'm pretty sure this brand is clean my friend who i was shopping with yesterday she's a clean bitch and so she's like trying to force me to do everything clean so i'm pretty sure that this is that i'll be honest you guys i'm not sure how i would use this with fair skin because oh well, this is lovely. Okay, so it's just gonna add a little color. I just think dad. Okay, you guys, that's it. What do you think about me embracing this fair skin with a snot rocket on my shirt? I think I'm gonna keep it up for a while and adjust to it, but don't get it twisted. I'm going to be a tan girly for life. All right, let me know if you want my tanning routine. Bye. Let's be singing, let's be jolly, let the halls with bows of party.
you are placing an order on Sephora's website in the near future at all, you are going to want to know this. We all know that you get like two free trial samples with every Sephora online purchase, but I bet you didn't know that there are so many more free samples that you could be receiving without having to be checking all of those like marketing emails with codes. In my most recent order, all I got was this travel size of the Fendi perfume. It's a purse spray. I think it was like $39 and then tax but they have an entire section on the Sephora app called offers and I was looking around in there and I saw one for their like September hair trial sizes and this was free like this offer was free as long as I think you spent $30 on the website or $35 on the website and look at how many things I got. When I opened up my package and I saw that this was the hair sampler I was shook like this has so many amazing products in it and they are like deluxe sample sizes that you would buy in the checkout. In this pack alone, I got an Amika Perk Up Dry Shampoo, Crown Affair Leave-In Conditioner Deluxe Sample Size, a Bumble and Bumble Hairdresser's Invisible Oil Primer, Shu Umera Hair Oil, and the Living Proof Triple Bond Complex. And then a bunch of these packet samples from amazing brands, like this is the Day Shampoo and Conditioner, two of the Moroccan Oil Hand Creams, an Orbe Shampoo and Conditioner Duo, and two samples of the Kerastase Hair Oil, which I already use and love. I literally got this entire bag of deluxe size, really nice hair samples, plus my two regular samples that I always pick at checkout, all for just buying the travel size perfume that I was already planning to buy. And I went back on the app today and these deals are always changing. So they didn't have this exact same September hair sample bag, but they have like a La Mer sample, a bunch of Chanel samples for fragrance and beauty. They just have so many good things. I feel like people don't know about this. We just went to Sephora and I went for one thing. I ended up spending almost $400. So I'm going to show you everything I got. What I went for is this Youth to the People Superberry Hydrate and Glow Dream Mask. I've been using this for like three years. If you have dry skin, I use this every night for like my night cream. And also sometimes when I have really dry skin in the morning, I'll use it in the morning. Unbelievable. And then I layer it with their, this is like the same thing, but it's in an oil. So then I was out of this. I got sent this a long time ago and it was unbelievable. I'm supposed to change your mascara like every three months and I'm trying to be better about that. So this is my favorite mascara right now. I realized about myself, I just like a brown mascara. This is my favorite primer in the world. I'm like so into Charlotte Tilbury right now, like everything. This Wonder Glow Primer, I will wear this like every day, just like without anything else even, if I just want a little glowy look and it makes your skin look so pretty. It's crazy, Celia was like, you really have never used Pillow Talk before? But I've never used Pillow Talk, so I'm gonna use it for the first time right now. Obviously I've heard great things about it, but. I've never, wow, it does glide on really nice, huh? And I can't believe this is your first time. I've been meaning to get it, it's just like, I don't know. And then I'm so excited about this. I've seen everyone with the Summer Fridays lip balms, like every time I open TikTok, someone has them. So I got this little trio. I do not need any more lip gloss. I have so much lip gloss, but it's my favorite thing. I'm gonna smell all of them. Okay, Vanilla Delish. Are they tinted? I don't know. I kind of hope not. Oh, excuse me. Oh, <laughs> they are tinted. Um, I was I caused you to swear. <laughs> For iced coffee ones, Celia's like dying to smell it too. So, wow. Smell? Wow. Is it tinted? It's like a little tinted. Huh. It actually looks nice with the pillow talk though. I feel like the cherry would look nice with the pillow talk. Mmm, this is delicious. You guys asked, so I'm going to deliver. Let me show you everything I bought at Sephora. So I am kind of starting to get into my makeup girly era just because I'm just not a makeup wearer. Um, I've got a filter on right now, but I typically don't wear makeup except for SPF and maybe a little bit of mascara, but I'm just not a makeup girly. So I have decided after watching everybody on TikTok try some of these products, I was gonna try some too and see if I liked it. Okay, so I'm just gonna rapid fire these. So I got the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. I have seen it so many times um, from people over the years. I decided to get it in like the travel size to see if I even like it before I invest in the big size. So I got that. Um, my friend, um, Hello Amanda, she recommend this Say Slip Tint. It is a uh, SPF 35 tinted moisturizer, so I got that. 
Um, I got four and a half the color. Uh, the five looked good, I think, if it was like midsummer. Um, but four and a half, I think, is going to be my baseline. Let's see. I also got the Fenty Beauty Eavesdrop Blurring Skin Tint. It looked pretty good. I got this shade 14. Let's see. Sorry about my, my kid is in the back. He's listening to videos. So I also got, I tried this last night, so it's already opened. But I got the Ordinary Multi-Peptide Lash and Brow Serum. Um, I've considered getting Lattes, but I haven't like made the jump yet. Um, let's see here. Here's the Ordinary Serum. And then I got the Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. This one I think is supposed to be more glowy than the other ones, but it's 16 hour wear and it's transfer proof. And that's the problem I'm really having lately is that because I don't normally wear makeup, I'm not applying it, I guess, to where it doesn't get all over everything all the time. So there's that. And then I got a bunch of makeup by Mario stuff. So I got this Master Blade Brow Pencil. I also, oh, let me just dig all of this out. Um, and then I got a Moisture Grow Plumping Lip Serum. Not that I need any type of plumping. I just really liked the color of this. Um, I also got this uh, Surreal Skin Awakening Concealer. I needed a new concealer. I was using a NARS concealer sample that I got and that has runneth dry. And then the last thing that I got for makeup was this Master Hold Brow Gel. I figured like this would be really good for days that I don't want to like do my brows. I mean, they're not in like terrible shape or anything, but, um, and then this is the whole reason why I went to Sephora is for the Colorwell Dream Coat Extra Strength. I just finished my bottle of regular strength dream coat. So I ran there to get the extra strength because as you guys know, I have type three C hair and I live in Florida. So I'm gonna try this out and give you guys a full testimony. But yeah, that's everything that I got at Sephora yesterday. I have something super exciting happening to me tomorrow. I can't announce it yet, but when I can, I will show you. And that is the whole reason why I decided to go full Monty into getting some things that I might be able to wear, but I will definitely try some of this stuff on, let you guys know how I like it. If I don't like it again, coming from the perspective of a non makeup girly. So I'll let you guys know. Have a good day. I just went to Sephora, so let's do a Sephora haul, makeup haul. So I really have been wanting to try the Summer Fridays lip products, and I've been looking, I wanted to buy them online because I saw that Sephora came out with like the three pack, but it said online only, and I decided today that I really, really wanted to try it. So I was gonna go in store and just buy one, when I got there, they had mint in stock, which said online only. They had the three pack, very last one. In I'm so excited for this one and this one. And I also got Bright Future. It's just the Sephora concealer. This is the Fenty Beauty Eavesdrops, um, the blurring skin tint. Just because I've been wanting a skin tint. Let's see. I have to try it on tomorrow, like without makeup on okay let's try out mint the color is so pretty mm, it smells so good i'm a mint girl okay cute i love also came with a jet lag mask I did accidentally taste the mint one and it does taste good. Now we're gonna try iced coffee. I'm pretty sure this is the one that's new that just came out. You can't buy it individually. Oh my gosh. That smells so good. It smells like caramel iced coffee or kind of like butterscotch. Mm. Color. This smells really good. Doesn't really taste like anything. I love. This is vanilla. This one's clear. Cute. Just like a clear gloss. I love it though. I saved this one for last because I'm so excited for this color. This is the color cherry. And if you guys saw the video, probably because I think it was super popular, but a girl was saying that this is the perfect like date night shade. So she looks so good. Let's try. No. 
Ooh, I love it. Like, this is not too dark. This one's really, really good, and it smells good. Someone said they taste good. Why don't taste like anything, but I'm obsessed. From having zero to having four all in one day, I can't help it. I would recommend all of them. They smell delicious, and I think the tints are perfect. Love this one. These two are more clear, and this is just like the perfect tint without being too much. So...